What's up, me bags? It's the chosen one of CG, the Chicano Stanley, the one, the only frog, Tony. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about B Rising. Uh, now, right off the bat, I gotta let you know that I did receive a review copy of the game. They gave me the game, all the DLC, all the little. So a huge shout out to Stunlock Studios, the developer and publisher of the game. And now B Rising is being touted as sort of a Diablo style game. I think that's kind of unfair because it's not really Diablo-esque. I think it's more of a hybrid between Diablo and Minecraft. That's right, Minecraft. My mind was blown when I played this game because I didn't think it was going to be this type of game. But uh, you do a lot of resource collecting. You do a lot of uh, base management. You've got to build your castle. Uh, you got different objects that you can build to help you build new things, just like in Minecraft, right? Uh, you take two objects, you combine them together, you take some wood, uh, you take some clay, combine that together, and suddenly you got bricks, and then you combine two other things, and suddenly uh, you got a grinder, and you use that to make more and more things, and uh, this happens as you progress through the game. Now, the basic uh, progression of the game is uh, collecting resources, building uh, different uh, objects for your base, whether it's a uh, workbenches, uh, machinery that does things like um, turn wood into lumber, right? Um, and then you have to face off against uh, mini-bosses, and those mini-bosses unlock new skills, new abilities. Uh, sometimes they unlock different uh, items that you can then create. Along with the creatable items and objects, you also have a variety of weapons. You got swords, you got spears, you got guns, you got bows and arrows, you got um, crossbows, axes, you, know, you can buy objects, uh, that's right, you can find coins, and you can find shady dealers, and you can buy objects, sort of a little shortcut. Uh, the game is online, uh, you can play it by yourself solo, that's the way I like playing it, you know, I don't like playing a multiplayer, so I'm playing it solo most of the time, but I did uh, play a little multiplayer. And that's really uh, where the game is going to go alive for a lot of people. You know, it's going to really come together because you're going to have a bunch of people working together in clans, uh, building a big castle, getting resources, beating bosses, beating other clans, fighting other uh, groups of players. And that's really what the game is supposed to be played like. That's really what the game is about, you know, uh, working together, building a strong castle, defending the castle, fighting other clans, and being the strongest vampire lord in the realm. Um, but if you're playing it single player like me, PvE, uh, you're going to find that there's a lot of uh, spikes in difficulty. There's going to be a lot of boss fights, mid-boss fights uh, that are either way too easy or way too difficult, depending on what happens. I had one boss fight, uh, which I couldn't beat the boss, kept fighting him, kept fighting him, couldn't beat him. Finally, I go up against him, and a bear, of all things, a bear wandered into the boss fight. Got the boss's attention, and the boss and the bear fought each other. I didn't have to do nothing. I just sat back, watched, and just uh, picked up the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you're playing by yourself, uh, there's going to be a learning curve. And there's going to be a difficulty curve. And there's even going to be an immersion curve. Uh, when I first started playing, wasn't really having fun. Wasn't really enjoying the experience. Until the game starts opening up more and more. Uh, then you just want to play. You want to keep collecting resources. You want to keep uh, building up your castle. You want to do more and more to open up more and more. Uh, and that's really how the game hooks you, right? It's that little bit reward, that little bit of reward. Oh, you just got to collect uh, so many more rocks. Oh, you just got to collect so much more wood. And then it opens up something new. And then that, that little bit of a, you know, that little hit of endorphin, that little reward, and you're off on the races and you're going again. And you beat a boss. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, so yeah, I would highly uh, recommend this game. This is actually really good. It's worth the price. Uh, the DLC, cosmetics. So if you don't really care about cosmetics, you don't really care about getting the Castlevania aesthetic, uh, there's no point in buying the Castlevania DLC, right? There's not extra missions. There's not extra levels at this time. There's not extra bosses. It's just all cosmetic stuff for yourself, for your castle, uh, so uh, for your forms. So really, um, like I said, DLC is totally optional. A base game, uh, worth it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. The story is probably the weakest part of the game, but it's really just an excuse for you to go out there and uh, kill enemies and collect 
different items. Um, you know, it is uh, the typical uh, vampires have been driven to the brink of extinction. Humans are out there causing trouble. Go collect all the blood of Dracula, bring them back, um, but maybe stop, right? I wouldn't want to give too much away, but it is uh, pretty bare bones, pretty weak, but it, uh, pretty genre and pretty type of game it is. It does what it needs to do. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of systems at play. Uh, the game does feel like a PC game that has been ported to PS5. Uh, for me, every once in a while, the, the controls uh, got a little difficult. You know, I forgot what I was doing, forgot what does what. Uh, but eventually, when it works, it just works. Um, probably felt a lot better on PC. Um, not being a PC player, uh, I do prefer the PS5. Uh, like I said, when it works, it works. Uh, when it gets a little hectic, sometimes you might forget what you're doing. You might forget how to uh, activate certain skills. Uh, but that's because they're trying to put so much in to the PS5 controller versus, you know, using mouse and keyboard. The tutorial does do a good job of telling you what to do, telling you how to do things to direct you, to get you started. Uh, like I said, very fun game. Once you get into it, once you really dive deep and start playing the game and it starts opening up, everything just feels good. Everything feels uh, like you want to keep playing. It has that, uh, that drive, that one more boss, one more item collection. You know, I just got to build one more thing to my castle. All the po all the pieces, all the opponents, they come together. And they make a really, really fun game. One uh, that's going to be really hard to put down. In fact, I almost uh, wasn't able to put it down just to do this review because I was having so much fun with the game. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you played V Rising? Did you play the alpha that was available a while back uh, have you played the current iteration of the game are you planning to get it uh, let me know in the comments and as always love peace booty grease we out this bitch